Hi, welcome to Fix My Beats. My name is Simon. How can I help you? This is my beat. I'm not a huge fan of the arrangement. It's a little bit repetitive, and there's a couple of small issues on it. Okay, great. Let's give it a listen. Okay, there are a lot of things we can do to fix the arrangement. What we're looking for is something a bit more diverse, I'm guessing. Yes. First thing you can definitely do is you can play with the actual sample itself. So I'm gonna make some new tracks here. We are going to make them unique. We can do something like bring it up an octave. How did that sound to you? A little harsh, yeah. Yeah, so maybe we can try rolling off some of the top end. It sounds like the sample has like two chord progressions. You can move it over like this, so maybe it's like an echo effect. And then delete it so that it doesn't have that flashing at the end there. But you can always try just straight up octave down. Down the octave sounds really nice. You can have this at a section. That one will definitely need to have some lower end removes. Now we can focus on the drums. I think we definitely have to double the length of this 808 pattern. These two slides here, well, they're not bad. It's just like you don't want to hear them too often, especially if yeah, um, it's especially if it's good. Like you don't want to hear right. like cool things too often, or else it's not as cool. I'm kind of just like spacing it out. So I would do that. It's just to keep it a simple rhythm. Let's do it short. Let's do the low octave one. High octave echo thing. Let's add some ambience during this breakdown section. It feels like a little empty right now. You completely changed the beat. It sounds so much better. <laughs> All right, that sounded good to me. How do you feel? Yeah, I think it sounds awesome. All right, thank you so much for coming. How would you rate my fixing your beat out of five? Out of five, I'd give it a solid four and a half, bro. Great, thank you so much. Take care. Hello? Hello? Hi, welcome to Fix My Beats. My name is Simon. How can I help you today? Hi, hi. Um, made, made the drill beat right here. I have like a problem when I play it on another speaker than mine. It's not really mixed that well. So okay, let's, let's listen fixed. and I will make notes of the mixing. Yo, this is fire. Thanks, thanks. If anything, it's probably gonna just be like your gain staging. Like you're just pushing it too hard into the soft clipper. Yeah, so if I take it off, you can see that it's going over zero quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want it to distort, boom. All right, let's take a look at how you mix the instruments. Is it just these two so far? Yeah, and after that, like the strings. Okay, and then the choir. This top register here, it's fighting just frequency-wise with the choir. But you could okay. either, you know, pick one you think is more important. It sounds like the guitar has more rhythm. So I'm gonna bring that one up. I'm gonna bring the choir down and I'm gonna make this more of like an ambient thing. Bring the delay up, bring the reverb up. I want it to be like really, really far away now. Now the guitar is really standing out here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All your instruments are kind of like in the same register. I see how like the cello, cello's like a naturally like a low string instrument. Mm -hmm. The way you're using it right now, it's being played really high. So I might even bring this down a whole octave. Since the cello is down an octave, I have more freedom to bring it up because there's actually nothing occupying that frequency as much, so. Let's make another section too. Okay, let's create some variation. Let's add a bass. Also, I'm gonna just do this to all of your guitar right now. See how it's just kind of on the grid? Mm. A quick thing you can do is Alt-Q brings up this quantizer. You can choose like between a bunch of presets that everybody has and this can dictate like how loose it is on the grid, this loose feel. I like to use it on instruments and you can see it's just slightly off the grid now. And then randomizing, Alt R, and I would just turn on velocity here and that's just slightly eh.
that's everything I can do. Honestly, bro, you had a really good beat to start with. So I didn't need to do much to this. Thanks, thanks. Thank you so much. How would you rate my services on a scale of one to five? Easily, easily a seven. Oh my goodness. All right. Yo. Hello. Welcome to Fixing My Beats. My name is Simon. How can I help you today? So basically, I made a beat a few days ago. Mm -hmm. What would you like me to fix, by the way? make it always really also uh, i don't think the guitar really blends in okay pretty good first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rearrange this uh, melody Okay, so what's happening is your uh, piano loop is eight bars long, but your synth loop is only four bars long. So it's kind of offset like that. I'm going to do that. Hey, it's, it already sounds better. Mm -hmm. Follow your kick pattern. I'm going to mix your drums really quickly so that they are hitting a bit harder. So I think uh, with the genre itself, the sounds need to be a bit bigger in general. So I'm gonna just like get extra sounds, layer them with your snares. Okay, let's mix this metal guitar. So right now I think the problem is it just stands out a bit too much. So I'm going to put more reverb in it, put it farther in the back. Yeah, so you don't need to boost those frequencies. All right, uh, let's hear everything back once and just to double check, I think should be good though. How does that sound to you? Slaps harder than my dad with a belt. How would you rate my services on a scale of one to five? I'd say a solid five. Awesome. Greetings to my homies in Poland, Pavel, for recording these guitars. Shout out to my homie Wookie. Yeah, peace. Thank you very much, man. All right, bro. Peace. Did you hear what happened last night? What? Oh, after the after the after work party. Yeah. Jen. Hi, my name is Simon. Welcome to Fix My Beats. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. And it's melodic dubstep, so... Melodic dubstep, gotcha. The beat, it feels a little repetitive, and I'm just wondering like, if you could add, like, some background elements and ear candies to it. Do you want me to touch, like, anything in the main drop? Really just anything, really. I don't really care, just, like, as long as it just sounds good. Okay, let's give this a listen. Okay, I'm gonna work on the drop first. I think it has potential, but it needs a bit of mixing. So the first thing I would do is I would kind of blend these two together a bit better. That's what I tried to do with the EQ. So I'm gonna put them into a single track. So the Rebo will blend that a bit. Probably just a bit of OTT. I might make it a bit wider with wider. This is free as well, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's it. The bass notes might be off what I was hearing. Yeah, so this should be here. Okay, that feels better. Yeah, so I'm gonna just rearrange. I'm gonna fix the chord progression. Nice. Is adding a bit of movement. That works for that. Copy, paste. Okay, let's work on everything else. I would add more ambience. Let's get a clap in here. Put some reverb. Let's 
Is there anything in here that you can kind of tease? Give me like the music box thing. I think that's all I can do for you for now. All right, let's uh, let's give this a one. How are you feeling about that? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Awesome. Can I get a rating of my service on a scale of one to five, please? So, um, four. All right. That sounds good. Love you. <laughs> Love you, bro. <laughs> If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.